In this lesson, we will use Desmos in order to graph a function, adjust the window, and determine derivative function values. We are given f of x equals 1 third x cubed minus 4x plus 2. We want to find the value of f prime of 0, f prime of 2, and f prime of negative 3. Recall the derivative function value is the slope of the tangent line at a given x value. And we will verify this once we find these derivative function values. To begin, we go to desmos.com and click start graphing. We begin by entering the function in cell one. We enter f of x equals one divided by three, right arrow, x raised to the power of three, right arrow, minus four x plus two. Now it's not required, but let's adjust the window to get a better view of the graph. And we can do this several ways. One way is to click on the wrench in the upper right hand corner and change the intervals for the x and y axes toward the bottom. To close this window, simply click outside the window, or we can try zooming in or zooming out using the plus or minus keys in the upper right hand corner. Let's click minus to zoom out. Notice now we have a much better view of the graph, but we do not need to see so much of the x-axis. So let's change the interval for the x-axis so that we only see from negative five to positive five. Let's click on the wrench, go down to the x-axis, enter negative five tab five, click outside this window, and now we have a nice view of the function. And now let's find the derivative function values. To find f prime of zero, we click in cell two and simply enter f prime of zero. And notice the value shows on the right, f prime of zero is equal to negative four. From here, either press enter or click in cell three. To find f prime of two, we simply enter f prime of two. Notice f prime of two is equal to zero. Click in cell four. To find f prime of negative three, enter f prime of negative three. f prime of negative three is equal to positive five. Let's record these derivative function values and then we will verify they do represent the slopes of the tangent lines at the given x values. So again, f prime of zero is equal to negative four, f prime of two is equal to zero, and f prime of negative three is equal to five. And I've already set up a Desmos graph where we can animate the tangent line to verify these derivative function values do represent the slopes of the tangent lines. So I've already set this up where the blue line is tangent to the curve, and we can change the location of the tangent line by changing the value of a using this slider, where a represents the desired x value. So to verify f prime of zero is equal to negative four, we change a to zero. This sketches the tangent line at x equals zero, and notice how the slope of the blue tangent line at x equals zero is negative four, verifying the derivative function value. To verify f prime of two is equal to zero, we change a to two. Notice when x is equal to two, we have a relative minimum and the tangent line is horizontal. All the horizontal lines have a slope of zero, verifying f prime of two is equal to zero. And finally to verify f prime of negative three is equal to five, we change a to negative three, which graphs the tangent line at x equals negative three, and the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative three is positive five, verifying our derivative function value. I hope you found this helpful.